Hey guys, welcome back to Bacon's Bass Place. I'm Aaron Bacon, and today we're continuing with our 100 basic slap bass patterns, part two. Make sure you're very subscribed to my channel if you want to see all of these videos, and make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of these. If there's anything you want to see, if there's anything you want to see me do, you have any requests, just leave it down there and I'll do my best to get to it, okay? <clears throat> so, what we're doing today is pattern number 77, and we're going open, pop, hammer, slide, okay? So it's another awkward one because it has two slurs at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of like the one we did two videos ago on 75 where we were doing the bebop scale, and we had two hammer-ons. Except now we're just doing a slide and a, ha a hammer on and a slide, excuse me. So I actually wanted to do some scale work with this because we've been doing a lot of riffs lately and a lot of just grooving and incorporating these into our grooves. So I'm going to get back to a little bit of uh, diatonic harmony, let's say. Okay, so I'm basically just going to be going up my modes in uh, C major and G major using the open strings, using the pattern, okay? And we're, I'm just going to try and stick it on one string as best as I can, maybe two strings, three strings. We'll see how it goes, okay? So, first one, we have to do this uh, G, well, hmm, let's think, okay? Let's start it in C, so that means we're going to be starting with an F Lydian, all right? So, if we go open, uh, open, pop, hammer, slide, okay? All on one string. Mixolydian, so major still. Now uh, Aeolian, natural minor. Now uh, Locrian. Back to major. Here's our C major. have uh, Latin names. So if you guys aren't familiar with your modes, I have a video about how to remind, how to remember these modes pretty easily, and there's just countless videos online and resources online for finding your modes, okay? So if you're not sure what modes are, just do some research and come back and you'll see it. Um, okay, so we're going to keep doing We're going to do what I just did along every string, okay? So next one is an A string. We're going to still be in C. So if we're in C major, our first mode on the A string is going to be the Locrian, okay? So we're going to start with that. A minor flat second. Okay, so open, pop, hammer, slap, slide. Major, Dorian, Phrygian, So that is the ones on the A string. Now, these are almost all going to be relative to what you have, right, in the, on the open string. So the key of C major, A, is the natural minor. So almost all of these are going to sound in a minor key. Because of that A, right? But in the key of C major, D, is a Dorian, okay? And that's like a, a really Motown-y scale, a really jazzy scale, but uh, I've heard Victor Wooten call it the, the Motown scale, so I kind of think about it like that, all right? So if we do it this way, everything should have sort of a Motown-y feel, a little bit of a, 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 a dated jazz feel, you could almost say. Okay? So that means what's our first mode on the D string in the key of C major? That's going to be the third mode, our Phrygian mode, okay? So we're going to be starting with an E Phrygian on the D string. Open, pop, hammer, slide. Lydian. Mix a Lydian. Aeolian minor. Uh, 
Phrygian, okay? So like... but that's also like a nine on the bottom can, in that context can be a little bit hard to isolate that actual context because we're all on the same string. It's not really ringing over each other, right? Well, let's try it on the G string now. Okay, so in the key of C major, our first mode on the G string is our sixth mode, the natural minor scale, Aeolian. Okay, so we're gonna go natural minor, Mess those up. Natural minor here. And then now we're doing Locrian. Aeolian. Sorry, Ionian. Dorian. Phrygian. Lydian. finally. So, if you guys know your modes, this shouldn't be too hard for you guys, okay? One of the trickiest things about this is going to be doing it all on one string, okay? If you want to check out how to do that, look up my video about getting it on one string, or I have another video called Tremolo Slapping, and that's all just how to do that. So if you want to figure out what's the easiest way to get it all on one string, go check out those videos, okay? Other than that, do a little bit of research on your modes if you're a little bit unclear about it. And other than that, you should be good, okay? So again, I'm Aaron Bacon. Let me know what you guys want to see about this in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and come back next time. We will see you then. Take it easy, guys.